Hi everybody, my name is Curtis of Curtis Landry Photography here in Victoria, Texas. I really appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to be giving my first impressions and an unboxing of this. It's the Logitech Craft Keyboard. It's a pretty neat keyboard, a little pricey. So I paid $199 for it, but it's an awesome keyboard. Just to get a little housekeeping done. I'm not sponsored by Logitech at all and doing this video. This is my personal opinion and what I think. And just to let you know, a little bit more housekeeping done. It's not in the box at all. I've been using it for about two weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first give you my first impressions and tell you what I think about it, pros and cons. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an unboxing towards the end of this. So if you want to see the unboxing to see what, what, how it comes, go ahead and watch the video all the way through. If not, as soon as I'm done with my first impressions, you can make up your mind and go decide about yourself. But I'll tell you, it's a pretty good keyboard. With that being said, let's get on with my first impressions. Let's take a look at this keyboard and tell you some of the things I like about it. One of the first things I love, how heavy it is. So if you can see here, I'm gonna hold my desk pad down here. It takes a lot, I'm pushing kind of hard on this, to make this thing move. So it sits pretty firmly on the desk and that's because it's got these little rubber deals on here on the keyboard that keep it secure to the desk. Love that, love that. It is got a little angle on it. So it keeps it at a little angle on it. And the angle's not too, too bad. I like how the construction of it, it's plastic and it's metal up here, it's aluminum up here. It's pretty solid. I like that. I love the beveled keys. Let me see if I could get it in light so you could see the bevel in the keys. You can see the little bevels in the middle of the keys. I like the bevels. I love how the keys feel when you're typing them. I love it. It's one of the nicest keyboards I've ever typed on. I like the space bar. I use this in conjunction with the Logitech. MX Master 3 Logitech mouse. Love that too. I love that it has the 10 keypad on here. I love that you can control the dimness of the light. I love the backlight on the keys. Uh, it's really a good quality keyboard without a doubt. I love in Photoshop how you could use the crown here. This is the crown. I love how the crown works. Uh, I use it on a lot of different programs. I'll use it in YouTube, I'll use it in Google. I programmed it for some stuff. It's a pretty awesome feature. I like it. Uh, so I love the keyboard itself. I love how it's built. The only thing, there's there's a couple cons that I wish, cons that I wish I had. I wish I had a, I know it's, it's, it's a wireless keyboard, but I wish I could plug it in and I wish I had a USB 3 port or a USB 2 port on here that I could plug in to here and use it as a peripheral for my, uh, for, to my laptop. I really wish it did have that. I use it wireless mostly. It seems to say charged for about 24 hours. Uh, so it seems like 24 hours of use that is. I shut it off when I'm done using it. So it lasts pretty good. Uh, so I like the battery life on it. The crown is very sensitive though. I notice when I'm in Photoshop, when I tap this, to go to a, from, from my, and I'll show you that and the thing, how it works in Photoshop here in a minute. But when I tap it, it moves pretty, pretty fast through there. But all, overall and all, I would highly recommend this keyboard for not just people who do content creators, but for people who just used, would possibly use that crown to help make any of their lives. You could use it in Excel, you could use it in Microsoft Word, you could use it, use it in YouTube, you could use this crown for a lot of things. You could use it as a volume button. There's so many different things you could do with it. And I like it a lot. Um, I'm really happy with the purchase. I would definitely recommend it. I ordered it from B&H Photo out of New York. I'm not sponsored by them, but I like to put kudos out to their, them all the time. I really appreciate their company. They're really good about getting stuff to you really quick. And their product is always as advertised. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just, I just love their company. If you're looking for any uh, computer gear, any camera gear, camera equipment, audio, computer stuff, give them a call. Look them up online. They're a great company. They'll be linked below. Uh, love it. It's a great quality keyboard, without a doubt. I love the crown, how that works here in a minute. I'm a 
get into Lightroom and I'm going to show you how it works here. Now let's go ahead and open up Lightroom and I can show you how I could use it to edit some pictures. It'll help my workflow. Let's go into develop module here in Lightroom. Here's a picture of Whitney that I took. And uh, just real quick here, let me put it on full screen so maybe you can see a little bit better. Now if I tap the crown, it brings up, I could change my color temperature, uh, tint, exposure, I could change the tint, uh, exposure, contrast, temperature, white balance, get the white balance between the tint and stuff like that. And and that's something that I'm getting the hang of using. I haven't used it a bunch so far in Lightroom. I've just been so busy doing other things, like I said. But I've been playing with it some. One thing I do notice is this button is super, super touchy. Um, I ain't got a lot of shortcuts set up on it. So I do on, on my mouse, i got a few shortcuts. Let me go ahead bring this up now let's see where we're at here kind of like the exposure down a little bit less right there kind of that's where I like that right there but just so just give you an idea how you could tap the button go through there uh, it's pretty neat I know in Photoshop when you go into Photoshop the crown actually could use to uh, use brush sizes flow and all that I haven't gotten to Photoshop and used it yet, but I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit how you tap the crown and, and basically how easy to, it just moves so easy. It don't take much to move it. Then you can just change it. You can twist it, change it. So this is definitely going to help my workflow to get my exposures and all that. I can see where this is definitely going to help me in a lot of ways. Uh, my first impressions of the Logitech Craft Keyboard. It's definitely worth the investment. Definitely worth the investment. Click on it down here. And as you can see, I have two um, components, a Logitech uh, linked up to this app. I have my MX Master 3, my craft keyboard. Let's go to open my craft keyboard. Here, if you look at this beginning here, this is one of the neat things this thing has is you can, you can program the keyboard, you can program the crown, you can program the easy switch, uh, and I'll get more to that here in a minute. But basically, you could set it, set all these buttons for all applications. Then at the same time, you could break it down to, to you could change it for individual applications. You could do certain things with them. You can make them do keystrokes and stuff like this. This will help a lot uh, for my workflow. Uh, and that's why I bought this thing is to, to help my workflow quite a bit. You could adjust the crown to do certain things in all applications. It's just control and volume or press it. If you turn it right or left, it'll it'll control volume. If you press it, it'll it'll press play a pause, and if you press and turn, it'll control brightness. Okay. All right, and that's all app in all applications. But again, you can program the crown and all these different things, and you can even add applications. You could add an application. Click on this. Pull an application off your computer and add it in there we're not going to do that right now but i just wanted to kind of show you this let's go back and look at the keyboard remember i told you earlier i like the fact that i could set this up keyboard to work with three different computers well with the one two three buttons here above the insert home and page page up there's a number one two and three here i can set that to, to certain computers if you see on the easy switch right now in my macbook pros here and my Galaxy tablets here on the other one. I have not uh, set up my Mac yet, my desktop yet on this. And I will. I just haven't done it yet. Like I said, I've been kind of busy uh, reworking my office and trying to get it set up how I wanted. And that's turned out to be a bigger job than I thought it would be. But anyways, let's look at a little more about But this is just the app. I just wanted to show you, you could program these. Uh, you click on this and you can go in here. Say, I want to do... Uh, I want to do it to open an application. I can click on here and it'll ask me which application I type in the name, Lightroom or whatever. Um, I could do that. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So this should be able to help me in a lot of ways doing what I need to do. And I just wanted to show you real quick the Logitech Options application. 
All right, I thank you guys for tuning in and watching this. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want future content from me, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when that content hits, hits YouTube, hit the bell button and you'll be notified. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them below. And to all you photographers out there, do me a favor. Get your camera out. Take some pictures. All right, let's take a look at this uh, keyboard made by Logitech. It's called the Craft. It's an advanced wireless keyboard with creative input dial. I want to get some housekeeping done. I am not sponsored at all by Logitech or B&H Photo at all. But I always give a shout out to B&H Photo when I order something online from them. And it gets here quicker than what they originally said it would. It gets here in perfect shape. Nothing's damaged on it. Great company. If you ever need any photo or video gear or, or audio gear, cameras, lenses, anything like that, give them a shout. They're awesome. I've used uh, Logitech keyboards in the past. I can't even remember which one I got. I've had it for so long. Uh, but I've also used a Logitech mouse, and I know they make a really good product. I've always been happy with them over the years. So I wanted to get something that was going to help me in my workflow. And this is what I opted for. It's the Craft Keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and open it real quick here. Of course, you need a boom. You need a weapon to do that. And here we go. Let's look at the box before I open it. Looking at the back of this keyboard, you can see again it's crafted. This keyboard works fine with Windows and Mac. I have a Mac computer. I have a Mac uh, computer on the floor and I have a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, with an i9 processor. This will work perfectly with that. Uh, and it works with Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, Power, uh, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, AI, it works on all these programs. It, this dial is already pre-programmed and you'll see what it could do later on when I get into the menus. Um, but let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. There we go. Boom, boom. Okay, let's flip this back over. The back of the screen there. Flip it over right there. Let's open it up. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Boom! Wow, this box is this top of this box is super heavy. Look how this thing comes. It's come with a really protective. It couldn't get damaged here. You could probably throw this box against the wall and it probably wouldn't damage this keyboard. I thought that keyboard was gonna be that heavy. Now I realize the box is very heavy. Let's set that to the side. Wow, this looks pretty nice here. Let's open this up again. Let's look at the what comes in here. Here's the keyboard and the box. That's exactly how it comes. I put away my weapon of mass destruction there, my little pocket knife. Uh, let's see what it's got here. Of course, it's got a USB C to USB. It's got the doggle here, and it's got the quick start guide here. Pretty good package. It's packaged very well. There's no way it could have got damaged at all. Let's look at the keyboard now. Let me set this out of the way, guys. We'll, we'll set this here. Set that there. Of course, you get the doggle and you get the, the instructions. We'll just set that right there. Let's set this over there. This box is so solid. I can't believe this box. This box probably weighs almost as the almost as heavy as the keyboard. That's that's amazing. This box is very heavy. Very good solid box. It wasn't gonna get damaged, no way in shipping getting here. Let's set that out of the way. Alright, let's open this up, flip it over. Okay, there. I see where it goes. Okay, right there. Pull this little tab. Open it up, and I'll pull it out of there. Boom. All right. Now that it's out of the box, let's take a good look at this thing here. This thing is made of plastic right here. This is plastic right here. Well, the keys feel really, really decent. They got a little bevel on the top of the keys, and they say. I know I was reading a little bit about, they say it helps you keep control of the keys. They push really easy. They don't sound bad at all. I think it'll be a really nice keyboard. This is metal along the top here. It's got, it says Logi here. Uh, as you can see, because it is both for, for Windows and, and Mac, you can see it's got both the, the nomenclature on here 
for that. As you can see, it's, it's set up for both Mac and Windows here by the lettering and stuff on the keys here, on the bottom keys here. This number one, two, and three, this is so you could toggle between three different computers. Another th reason why I like this, I could, I could have number three as my tablet, number two as my, uh, my MacBook Pro, and number one is my uh, Mac Tower. So that I like, as you can see, uh, brightness and stuff and on the keys there's a lot of buttons up here i got to figure all that stuff out I'm, I'm upside down looking at this so uh, a little bit harder for me to understand uh, and this is your crown button dial here wow that feels really really tactical i know you could press it it does three things you can press it turn it or press and turn uh, I know you can program this in Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, uh, just about any application. I think you could add applications, and once we get into software, I'll show you that. Uh, it's a very solid keyboard. Let's flip over in the back and look at this. One thing I notice it don't have, it does not have uh, flip legs here. I kind of wish it would, so we need more adjustability on it. Uh, but it does have nice rubber pads here, so I think on a wood surface or glass tabletop, and then this is soft rubber here, I think it won't slide because it's very heavy. Uh, when you flip it over here, and look at the top of it, it's got USB-C plug-in. The power switch on and off is on the top. Um, one thing I do, the only, there's only one other thing I wish it had on here. I wish it had a couple USB ports on here. Um, but that's fine. I mean, it is wireless. If it was wired, I could understand where that would be the case of just, you know, being real picky, just wish I had maybe something like that on there. But this is a very high quality keyboard. I could tell just by touching it and moving it. It's solid, it's very heavy. I know it's a lighted background. Uh, let me see if it is charged any. Yes, it is charged. You can see the light come on. Let me, I'll shut these lights off here so you can see. One second. There you go. You can see the lighter keyboard data like. I guess it's pulsing because it needs to be charged. Let me see. There's the light. This is light and dark in the keyboard. I gotta Figured, I guess it's pulsing because it ain't hooked up nothing. It probably needs to be charged, but I just want to see. I love the light of keyboard. All right, let me turn the lights back on so that'll turn off. And it's supposed to turn on and off as it have a proximity sensor on it. And I think that's what this little thing is here. I think it's a proximity proximity sensor uh, that'll sense when you take and get close to it, uh, it'll, it'll turn on. Let me shut it off there. I need to plug it in, charge it in, get it hooked up to my computer, and see how it works. Well, that's the Logitech uh, Craft Keyboard.